Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. It's your boy Butterfly and today I'm going to be showing you my TBR shelf. So I just kind of organized it but it's not organized at the same time. At the beginning of the year it was perfectly organized. 23 books I wanted to read in 2023 and the buzzword readathon up top but I have not been following that. And I've added and taken away some books that I didn't feel like I was really going to read. And then I thought I would just show you the rest because I think it's cute, if I'm being honest. If I'm being honest, I just think it looks nice right now. So I thought I would show you guys what all I have on here. So let's get to the tour. As you can see, my cats love the desk space. So this is Gigi and this is Delilah. Delilah has some allergies that we're working on, but she's still adorable. <laughs> so let me move the cats real quick. So on the desk currently, I have my Kindle because I have absolutely no idea where else I would set it at the moment. But this table, I have no clue where it's from. It's a corner shelf table. <laughs> But I currently have two tripods here because, again, I don't know where else to put them. But over here is the more exciting stuff. So right here is my current read and then tabs because I decided I was going to start tabbing it. I thought what's a better way to remember which book I'm reading than put it directly in my face. So this stack back here is all of my read books this year so obviously i have not read a lot and a lot of them are graphic novels but that's okay everyone reads at their own pace and we all have our own style and sense i put him here because i'm going to be doing a video on my gaming channel with him and i just needed a place to set him so he's just gonna lay there and then right here is graphic novels that cannot fit on the bookshelf. So I have Amazing Spider-Man, Harley Quinn, Hunters, and Swamp Thing. And I got these from the dollar store. At the corner here, I have, this is last year's bullet journal and this year's bullet journal. I kind of gave up on it, but I'm thinking about getting back into journaling. So they're just kind of here for now. So they're not on the shelf because they have been sitting here, but... You can't really see the books, can you? <laughs> so here is the first shelf. Sorry you can see my shadow. I just wanted this to be as lit as possible. So the first shelf is just books that I've organized how I want to read them. So I have my book of the month in the middle, which is divided because I was thinking, okay, I want to read these together. I want to read these together. I want to read these together. So they're organized, but they look chaotic. So book one is Mere Anarchy, which is a Star Trek novel. Then we have Star Trek My Brother's Keeper Republic, which is book one out of three. Then we have Star Trek My Brother's Keeper book two out of three. Then we have the third book in the Keeper series. And if anybody has any advice on how to get these stickers off, I would be greatly appreciated. Next, we have the Hitchhiker's Guide series. So I have read the first book, but I haven't read the rest, even though I am technically missing a book. But I have all of them on here because I want to do a reread of the first book and read the rest of the books. Next, I have the Starship Troop books, which I've never really heard of. But I found them one day on Amazon and I was like, I have to buy these secondhand. So I did. I know absolutely nothing about this except for Shakespeare in space. And I love sci-fi and I was a theater major. Next, we have my thrillers and mysteries, which I want to read together in a little vlog. This one is actually a dystopian, but that's fine. So the first book doesn't have a cover. It is Camp Zero. We have Like a Sister. We have A Writing Retreat, What Lies in the Woods, and Killers of a Certain Age, which I put on here, but now I'm kind of wary because other people are saying they did not enjoy this book. The next book I found at Ollie's, it's The Great Fairy Tale Cover-Ups, Roxy and Jones. Hi picked this just because it looked like it'd be a short little fun read and the cover is absolutely beautiful. To be honest, I needed to fill up the bookshelf so I picked one of my pocketbook sci-fi books which is The Moats in Time's Eye was the choice I picked for some reason. Next we have books I want to read together. These are all Star Space related. We have Black Star Renegades which I got from the dollar store but I'm still thinking it's going to be a good book because I love me my dollar store books. You have The Space Between Worlds. We have A Wilderness of Stars. 
or a wildness of stars i know nothing about this book it was a christmas gift but honestly i love the cover <laughs> next is why stars come out this book is really interesting and it has nothing to do with like space but the cover is stars which is what confuses me so this girl can like turn souls into like coins i've had this book for a while i got it on sale like a year ago so i really do need to step it up and read the book <laughs> The next book is Esmeralda Rising, or Esper Esperanza Rising. I read this book in elementary school, and it was one of my favorites. I decided I was going to go through and pick some books that I read from my childhood and reread them, just because I want to see if I enjoy them as much as I did then, because this book, for some reason, was my whole personality for a while. The next three are Geronimo Stilton books because sometimes when I'm in a reading slump I pick these up because they're super easy and they were my childhood favorite and I want to collect them all. Next is Warm Blood. I got this at a convention this year and they're also on webtoons so I could read the first in book format and read the rest on webtoons which is nice. I got this book for a Walgreens book pick. Um, it's Ocean Prey. I really don't remember anything about this. Again, I've had these books for a really long time. And I just haven't read them for some reason. Next is Unstable, which I got from <laughs> Walgreens as well. But then I literally just bought it again at the dollar store, not realizing I had it. So I put it on the TBR shelf because obviously I want to read it or I wouldn't have picked it twice. Next we have Blaze, which is a young adult middle grade, somewhere in between there. This girl, it's literally just about high school or middle school i can't remember what grade she's in it's just about her growing up and wanting to be noticed she's an artist and it's from the dollar store so if i don't enjoy it it wasn't a waste of money honestly next we have dark run which is a series i just don't know what the other books in the series are or what the series is called unless it is dark run this was gifted to me this book is The Sorority Murder, which I got because I was really into thrillers, and I actually found this at an Ingles. I'm telling you, places to buy books doesn't have to be the bookstore, and I'm just going through and seeing, and I'm trying to do a video series proving that because my favorite books are from the dollar store, so why can't I enjoy a book from Ingles? I mean, hell, I got Ninth House from Ingles. And the last book on this shelf is Red Rising, which is a adult science fiction trilogy. And I've seen a lot of people reading it lately, even though it's been popular for a while. I've had this book for a while, but I really want to finally get into my adult science fiction fantasy stories. <laughs> so that is the complete bottom shelf. So this is an overview of my second shelf. So I'm not gonna pull the books out from this part, but I have this random toy train, but I have my favorite book series. These two are definitely in my top favorite books. Here is the book series all together. I have this here because I want to do a reread. Also, sometimes you just want to display your favorite books. On top of that, I have this cute little tie baby, a <laughs> random like candy thing that has hello kitty on it and a hello kitty mug with annotation stuff inside so like pins and tabs and then on top are these cute little earrings with music notes and then this goes with the doll that was over here but i thought it looked too cluttered even though it's still very cluttered so here's the train back this is a bookmark i got when i bought the drama of stilton i just don't know where to put it so it kind of just sits here and then in front of these is Captain Kurt and these cute little ducks that are cats and dogs. I think they're adorable. And then a Funko of Kirk in the captain's chair. The first book is I Wish You All the Best, which I have read and annotated, but it is here until I find a new place for my favorite books. We have Graceling. Witch, the graphic novel, which I just got at a convention recently. Borrowers Afloat, which I got for that middle grade reading blog. And the little writers who are here as a space keeper because I had no clue where else to put her. The Stranger Upstairs, which is my book of the month of this month. <laughs> the rest of these books right here are for the buzzword readathon. So The Skin of the Sea. I started reading and never finished it. The Neighbor's Secret, which I started reading and also didn't finish. Firstborn, 
Queer Magic, The Good Lie, Tornado's Song, Tornado's Song, I don't know how to pronounce this, but this is on my TBR for a while. This section, I want to point out, I'm not a Wiccan. This stuff just kind of interests me. I really love crystals and learning about other people's, like, spirituality. So I have all of these books for that, and I have nowhere else to put them but here. So I have this book on display because it's pretty. I don't know if you can see the light, but it kind of shimmers. I think it's really pretty. These I got, and I've never opened them. <laughs> never even looked at them. They are a tarot deck, which also shimmers. There is a journal in the back corner over there, and then here are all of my, like, books. So let's go through them. We have Queering Your Craft. We have this book called Dreams, the Language of the Unconscious. Mountain Conjure and Southern Root Work. The Stars Within You, a Modern Guide of Astrology. Wicca for Beginners. The Green Witch. Celtic Magic. Modern Hand Fasting, which I got this book because I actually did a hand fasting ceremony at my wedding, so I thought... I know I did a little bit of research then, but maybe I should do a little bit more. The Crystal Dictionary, Gemstones of the World, and a little bit of crystals. And this is what the journal looks like. There's pins in the front pocket. So here is another overview of that. And then up top has nothing to do with books whatsoever. Hi, you can see me. So I have this lamp, which my grandmother gave me. <laughs> And a toy train, which I adore. I got this from a secondhand antique mall. <laughs> so, really out of order. We got a lot of peeps here. Even these mugs are peeps. There's cords in the mugs. Here's me on my graduation day with my bestie. The photo is falling out of the frame, but that's fine. That was my high school graduation. And you have these photos of me and my friends. And that's the most appeasable photo of me um <laughs> on there i have this which is a free rpg day which my dad gave me it's from 2016 we have this because i thought it was cute <laughs> and then these two little crystal dinosaurs to represent me and my husband so it's not a lot but this is what it looks like and then inside the drawers that's randomness is button making stuff because i have nowhere else to put it but i am super proud of this really am proud of it so a quick little overview of everything thank you for watching this <laughs> tour for you guys I have never really done a bookshelf tour like that where I show each individual book. So if you enjoyed that, please let me know. I would love to know. Especially if you want that with my main bookshelf because I have so many unread books on there that I would love to give an individual tour for you guys. So let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoyed setting up this bookshelf and decorating it and putting it all together and filming this video. So I am gonna go and I will see you guys next time with a different bookish video for you guys. So my channel is very eclectic, collectic if you would like to check it out. I would love to see you guys again sometime. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, rock on, have your world, don't forget to grow your wings, fly high, touch the sky, make sure everyone knows your name. Love for my screen ears, bottom of the little one, Cameron, out.